good morning or afternoon or even night depending on where you live i uh, got a couple things to talk about for this monthly update first off thank you to everyone who helps support this channel whether that be through patreon youtube members and even twitch i'll be rolling all your names here momentarily as well as everyone who watches ads or watches with youtube premium thank you to all of you seriously it really helps a lot so thank you again Alrighty, so on to the updates. Loopy from the future here. Uh, as I was finishing up editing, I got a generous donation through PayPal. Let me get the message for you. It's from Penny M, and she says, Love your long plays. Thank you very much, Penny, for the very generous donation. Alright, back to you, Loopy from the past. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was some of the videos we did back in August. And I wanted to start off with the one I'm probably happiest about. I am happiest about. And that's the Subnautica long play with commentary. Well, needless to say, you guys uh, really seem to love it. And like it and just enjoy it. And the response from it was an overwhelming support of positivity. And just... It was awesome. I... I haven't really received that on a video, I think, like, right off of upload. Like, there was just so much positivity, and uh, it was so refreshing to see, and uh, it made me really happy because I really enjoyed making it, and I was like, I want to make more of these, but I need to see how people react, you know, because if people were like, well, you know, but people, you get, you guys seem to love it, and I was like, Oh, this is awesome because I really do want to make more of them so I'm really really excited to do more and there was a lot of requests to do below zero as well which I will be doing at some point in the future um, not not yet but I will be will be doing it and you know if you guys have anything negative to say you know you feel free to say it you know I don't mind if there's anything to improve on uh, I will be banning you. Um, I have to, you know, I can't take any criticism. <laughs> you know, I'm a YouTuber. YouTubers can't take criticism. So obviously you're going to get banned and there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but uh, no, no, but seriously, if you do have anything to say, I don't mind. You know, like uh, I always try to read criticism as long as it's valid criticism or saying it in, in a whatever. You're just being like, yeah, here's something that you could try, you know, and I, I, I never mind that. Um, uh, but yeah, if you have anything like that, feel free to say it. You are going to get banned, but don't worry about that. You know, it's, it, it, that doesn't, that part doesn't matter. No, but seriously, yeah, feel free. Um, so, and again, thank you. Thank you to everyone who is just, just sending like all these nice things, all these positive comments, just uh, even just leaving likes. Like it, it just showed me like there's, there's definitely, there's a lot of you who are interested in this and I'm really excited to do more. So uh brings me to the next point which the next thing that i will be doing for commentary next video will be oblivion and i'm really excited to do that one and that'll be happening in about a week i mean anyone who's played oblivion knows uh, this is probably going to be there could be some wacky stuff happening the npcs in the game are <laughs> they're all over the place so i'm hoping there's some fun moments in that um it's not guaranteed but you know it's definitely it rolls the dice that there could be some more and especially with the way the world is and how the movement and combat and all that stuff mixed in i mean it's a kind of a goofyish game in some sense it's serious but it's also goofy and i i really do like it so i'm excited to do this one i have one more game ahead of it i won't say what it is yet but there is one more game ahead of it uh it's coming out so i will be playing that and then we'll move right on to oblivion with commentary uh so there's a couple more videos i wanted to talk about that happened back in the month of august uh next up was skyrim the companions so that was a lot of fun uh, i was like going back through skyrim and there was only two instances that i had that it was a little bit glitch well actually there's three uh there was two npc quests um which i had never done before but Maybe it was a mod that was making it 
a bit glitchy, but yeah, the Arcus and Vilcus, they're wolves, like they're, uh, to kill their pack animal people, whatever it was, like their, their wolf spirit. It was just glitching out, and I was like, man, I don't know what's going on here. They were like invincible, so I, I don't know what the problem was with that, but that was a bit glitchy. And trying to get that last totem quest line to pop up from Ayala, holy smokes, that was, that was taking so long. I had done so many other quests off screen, it was, I think it took me like an hour or two to actually get the last, uh, the last one to pop, which was insane. I was like... Is this normal? I was looking on, you know, forums and stuff, and people are saying this was happening to them too, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Of course this is happening. Um, but playing as a werewolf is so much fun. Like, the, the quest line is good. You know, it feels very honorable. You feel like, yes, I've got this axe. I've got my sword. Um, and you just feel very honorable uh, playing through it. And it's, it's a good quest line, you know. So it, it was fun. It's just that ending stuff. It doesn't really have anything to do with the official ending of the quest. It's just that bonus stuff. It's very kind of glitchy, but yeah, it's Bethesda, so. Uh, next, Guild Wars 2. It was pretty relaxing to play. Uh, it's a very chill MMO. Not a whole lot uh, crazy combat going on or anything like that. Just chill, and I liked playing through it. and you could just zone out and play it, and it was fun. Um... Next, Crime Scene Cleaner. That was also really fun. Surprisingly fun. I like... I saw some gameplay on it. And I was like, yeah, this this seems pretty good, right? And I play through it. I'm like, dang, this is fun. I'm really su surprised. And it just kept getting more and more fun. As I was cleaning, you're getting your upgrades and stuff. And I was like, dang, this is a fun little game. And for the price tag, I was like, man. This should almost be more... But I kind of understood why they priced it at that, because, you know, they didn't have a ton of levels, but the levels they had were still really well done and well built. Great game. Uh, and the last that I just did was Tavern Manager Simulator, which was a really fun game as well. But it's very early access, you know, it needs some, some extra work in there to flesh out some things, get rid of some more bugs and stuff. But it has a pretty good uh, base base mechanic you know like it's it's baseline mechanic it just needs some more tweaking and some more things that need done and i think it could be uh one up there for the simulator games which is becoming a genre i guess it's been a genre for a long time but anyone who's been around the simulator games know that like 10 years ago or however long year many years ago that was such a like it was pretty much meme meme games you know like, the games that were coming out of the simulator games were not like they are now. Nowadays, they're actually fun. They're actually well done. Back then, it was just... <laughs> they were, uh... They were something else. Uh, so, it's good to see that uh, they're actually becoming games now. So next, I wanted to move into kind of what I'm planning for this month, for September. So I'm thinking of doing Fable for this month, actually. And part of that was because uh, seeing old Peter Molyneux. And I don't know if anyone saw GamesCon. I didn't watch it, but I saw I, I saw a clip of him, and then I watched just the segment that he was in. And the game he's working on looks like it might have some potential. But we'll have to wait and see what the future holds on that one. So as I was saying, yes, I will be doing Fable for the month of September. Been looking forward to playing it, meant to do it a couple months back, many months back, and here we are in September doing it, so finally, right? Holy smokes, but I'm really excited to do it. Now it's like, yes, this is this is the moment. Uh, so next up, I wanted to talk about, uh, I wanted to keep my eye on the Silent Hill 2 remake. I know that's coming out, I think, in October. The original was incredible, so I'm hoping the new one is good as well. I mean, for the price tag they're boasting, it better be, but we'll have to wait and see, right? We don't know yet. Uh, if it is great, then awesome, but I'm, I'm hoping, so I'm keeping my eye on it. Uh, I'm seeing some good stuff from it so far, and yeah, probably will be playing through it on the channel at some point uh, in the future. And one of the last things I wanted to talk about was Skyrim. Uh, again. 
So I'm thinking I might be playing through the Dawn Guard DLC pretty soon here. Uh, probably at the end of September or going into October. Uh, I'm feeling that, uh, you know, that fall feeling, that fall vibe, you know, where it's, I want to watch spooky things. I want to watch Halloween stuff. Uh, I want to play games that are kind of cozy to play around fall for me. Uh, Fable being one of them. And Skyrim's kind of another. Skyrim's like my uh, fall slash winterish game. I, I really like playing it around that time of year. Or around this time of year. Getting into this time of year, yeah. Uh, it's just, just feeling it for sure this year. I'm feeling it, Mr. Craps, you know? So I've been like, I want to I wanna play uh, the Dawn Guard here. And I've got a couple things planned for it. So uh, you'll be seeing what's planned for that. And uh, I'm excited to share some stuff on it when those videos come out. Or video, who knows. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And lastly is another game that people have been wanting me to continue that I have done multiple videos on my channel of. And that's Valheim. So I guess I can kind of officially say that uh, I've been working on a video for Valheim. It has Ashlands in it, but uh, it's co-op this time. And it's very goofy, and I don't play the best in it for sure. But it was a fun time, and uh, that will be coming out sometime in the future. I just have to edit it. There's a lot of stuff to edit in it. There's a lot of downtime, it's Valheim, so, you know, you're not always doing stuff. But, uh, yeah, it might be one or two videos. I don't know how many hours you put into it, but it was a long, long experience. So, uh, we'll see how long that video will be. And I think that's about it. I don't really have anything else to add. So that kind of concludes this monthly update. No big changes. Nothing crazy going on, just reflecting on past videos and seeing what the future holds. So, uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next commentary video, which will be with Oblivion. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So make sure to mark your calendars for the date that we don't have uh, planned yet. And, yeah, that's about it. And just remember, if you ever have anything bad to say about this channel, you're banned. You're banned. All right, so we cut him off, and uh, we're good. That guy was crazy. That guy was crazy. So thank you guys for watching, and see you later. Take care now.